Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another reading. This reading will be all about your person and your connection, what's going on there and how do you feel about each other. As always, keep in mind these readings are general, so they will not resonate with everyone. And let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirit, angels, guides. Wow, okay. I'm gonna put that back because I'm going to be cutting the deck. Messages, guidance for Sagittarius regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Spirit, what do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know about the connection between Sagittarius and this other person? Okay, we have the King of Cups and the Five of Cups as the overall energy between you. On your end, we have the Knight of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. And on their side, we have the hangman with the six of swords. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the four of swords. Well, the four of swords, there's not much going on there. They're reflecting, healing. Um, there's no real action or communication with that energy. I almost get with the four of swords and the five of cups that someone still has feelings for the other person and think about them. Um, maybe they're thinking about communicating because I have the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. What's the energy between you and this person? Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius and this other person. Oops. What's the energy between Sagittarius and this other person? What's the energy? We have inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path and happy ending. Um, again, I'm just, I feel like someone's thinking to themselves, listening to their intuition, but not really communicating. Maybe someone's really thinking about what would make me happy in a relationship. Who would make me happy? Will I have a happy ending? Um that kind of energy. What else? What else we need to know? And you know, I feel like your person is probably the one doing the most thinking. They have the hangman. However, you have the knight of cups. So I'm wondering if you're waiting for this cup to arrive. Because with the knight of, of pentacles, it's like you might not you might be available right now. Oh my gosh. I keep hitting the phone. Okay. Can I get one more energy, please, for Sagittarius? This other person. Oh, I got two. Engagement and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive. You know, it could be that you're, you've are you been investing in yourself, Sagittarius, and if you're not, you probably should. Um, I feel like you would be attracting a specific person if that was the case here um, and it could lead to a higher level of commitment with engagement I'm also um, hmm. I'm wondering I'm wondering if there's already a commitment here with engagement and love yourself first is like a reminder but let's not jump into conclusions. Let's clarify these energies. Let me get some clarity, please. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's holding back. This There's no communication here and no action. It's like whatever someone's thinking, they're holding back. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands. Maybe they're deciding what to do, deciding whether to open up. Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. You know, maybe they're trying to decide if they should reach out or apologize or tell you how they feel. Tell me about the Five of Cups. I feel like I keep having to move this because it's not looking straight. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Sagittarius, please. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Five of Cups is about regrets over the past. Okay, so the Six of Swords. 
Maybe regrets over a departure. Regrets that's, that they left in the past. Now they're too scared to come forward. Eight of Swords. Yeah, the Hangman. This is your person's energy. The Hangman, Six of Swords, Hangman, Six of Swords. And there's the Page of Cups. So this is your person's energy I'm picking up here. There's hesitation here with the Eight of Swords, the Hangman. Um, they're regretting the past. Maybe they're regretting leaving this connection, but they're not saying anything. Tell me about the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. What do we need to know about this King of Cups? Okay. Two of Swords and Three of Pentacles. So again, there's that blocked energy. And there you are, Sagittarius, Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. It's almost like maybe they're undecided about working this out or unsure about working something out with you here. The Three of Pentacles is a card about collaboration and Temperance is a card about kind of like slowly resolving something, slowly blending two very different things together to arrive at harmony. So, you know, I feel like this, your person's like resisting themselves, like they're holding themselves back here because they're unsure of what to do. You know, because there's one thing to have feelings, you know, and it's another thing to actually act on those feelings and do something about what you feel. So let's get some insight into you and this person's energy. I have you on one side, Sagittarius, on the left here, and your person on the right. Feel free to flip the energies that they resonate more for you. Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Why is Sagittarius here? Second chances and divine timing. So I feel like you're waiting for this cup. Maybe in divine timing, maybe in your mind, it just hasn't been the right time yet. Or you're hoping that this second chance will, will be it. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is Hazard will be dealing with what are there. Yeah, restoring balance. So they're thinking about fixing this. Arriving at a resolution. But they have to break their silence. Broken silence is at the bottom of the deck. Um, I don't think they have yet. I think that's kind of the problem. Actually, I want to get a hidden truth. Oops. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I had like other solar energies here. I will get it together. What is going on? Oh. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Just don't mind me, Sagittarius, okay? Hopefully your person has it more together than I do. Okay. Can I get some insight into Sagittarius and this other person's spirit? going on between them tell me about Sagittarius tell me about Sagittarius please I don't need to know I feel you leaving me behind so I feel like some of you already watched this person walk to walk away like I feel like they already something happened here maybe you live at a distance from each other but I feel you you leaving me behind it's almost like you're wondering if you'll be forgotten Tell me about this person Sagittarius is dealing with. I don't need to know about their energies. I will wait for a sign from you. Is that why they're so quiet? They're waiting for the green light here. So many things remind me of you is at the bottom of the deck. So despite the fact that they're thinking about you, actively thinking about you, it, it, they're hesitating. I mean, that's just it's just all over this reading. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles? Oh, I got two. The Moon, Pisces Energy, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you wonder if you're ever going to get this message from them. There's that Seven of Pentacles. Very clear energy. Will that message ever arrive that's where you are at right now 
yeah you just want to you just want to hear from this person communication is what you're thinking about will they come forward and talk to me will that with this apology come um will this happen that's your energy tell me about the knight of cups i get one more ten of wands i feel like yeah you've been waiting a while Probably I don't think you can wait much longer. Maybe you're burned out of this waiting. And, you know, it, it's almost like maybe you don't deserve this. Nine of Pentacles is not someone that would wait around for anybody, to be honest. It's probably why Love Yourself First is here as well. Okay, tell me about the Hangman and the Seven of Swords. Not Seven of Swords, Six of Swords. I'm seeing numbers now. Okay. Tell me about the hangman and the six of swords. Now, together, these energies could be somebody taking um, action. You know, maybe they've been thinking for some time, stuck, and now they're ready to move forward. Um, leave something behind. Tell me about the hangman and six of swords. Six of cups. Tell me about the hangman and the six of swords. Page of wands. Hmm. So I think your person is ready to take a small step forward with the Page of Wands. Some sort of initiative here. It's related to the past or to this like, could even be like a soulmate energy. Yeah, I, the strength cards here, Leo energy, they might be a bit um, brave or needing to be brave here to come to take this very small step. Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck with the Seven of Cups. Hmm... They have no idea how you feel, which tells me maybe you haven't talked in some time. It, it's like there's no clarity about some sort of whatever happened when they walked away or when you walked away. It's unfinished business. There's some there's something unresolved between you. That's why to them this is risky. Tell me about this page of wands. Why is the page of wands? Six of pentacles. Yeah, so they, they again, it's all about restoring balance. A little bit of give and take here. If I give a little bit, maybe I'm going to get something back from Sagittarius. Maybe that'll be the sign that I get from them. Maybe I'm the one that has to make the first move. Knight of wands. So I feel like this is still kind of ongoing, Sagittarius. I feel your person's thinking about finally taking some sort of action towards you. Break their silence. And restore the balance here. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the past. They're expecting resistance from you. Um, because they don't know. They don't know how, they, how you feel because things were left the way they were. However, I don't think that you're willing to wait forever. Um, so this person needs to act quickly. I think they're getting there. But if they don't, don't be surprised. Because fear is all over this reading. Hesitation is all over this reading. They're going to need to overcome that. But, you know, and, and it's kind of messed up, too, because it's like, I feel like I'm waiting for the green light from you, but I don't think it's ever going to come from you. They have to make the first move. I think they're waking up to that realization that it has to be them or they can just lose, <laughs> basically. Um, they have to make the first move. Or this second chance will never happen. But for some reason, I think part of the problem is that they were waiting on you. And I don't think that you would have ever even considered making the first move. So it's like all those months or weeks or years have been wasted, essentially. Because they were waiting for something that would never come from you. 
Um, I'm also getting that for some of you, there's something else here that's keeping them um, from making a move because I feel like the Six of Swords and the Strength card, I got like facing something head on. So maybe there's an obstacle in the way that they have to overcome. But this Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, you know, this is initiative. Um, they need to, they need more than just initiative. You need to actually see this through. So I feel like this is kind of coming to a climax here. And eventually you're going to get your answer, you know, um, because I don't think that this is going to take years, more years for this person to finally make their move, you know. So if in a couple weeks or months you don't hear from this person, that's your answer, right? That they're just too chicken to really do anything about this. And you're going to have to make a choice to love yourself first. Um, so that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. It's a free way of supporting what I do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another reading very soon.